Hey guys, Doug here. Here's another update on the mini bike. As you might be able to tell, I added a mud flap to the front fender. It's just three rivets holding it on, and it's a piece of a weather seal from the bottom of a garage door. But uh, I put that on. I was going to make a, a guard for the front here between the uh, A pillars, and uh, I decided against it because this is a lot easier and a lot cheaper because I can get this stuff for free all day long. And uh, it works really well. It's keeping the mud out from the engine as you can tell it's hitting underneath but it's keeping it off of the front of the engine which is what I wanted so I'll have to do some uh, adjustments the chains I think broken in now because there's a lot of slack in it and uh, I got a new gas cap for the uh, Predator because let me get this off here this is off of just a GX200 cap because Predators are almost exact clones but as you can see the profile of this is really thin and I got that because here is part of the original gas cap. As you can see, it has this really big, obnoxious mass on the bottom of it. And holding these, or not holding, but setting them side by side, you can already tell how much of a difference in the profile there is. And then if you take this on top of it and come over here and root through the junk and find the plastic piece that belonged to it, and you take this and you stick it back on there, And look how much you've cut down the original gas cap by swapping it out by a third of its size. And it's really ridiculous. I mean, this had the chain on it, which was a nice feature, but only if you're going to put it on your generator. So this fits in a lot better. It doesn't cut into my hands when I put it on. It's still a little hard to get to, but it has a lot more grip than it did before with that just metal piece. I don't have to worry about gas spilling all over the place, and I can get gas in there really easy. And uh, another update is I actually got my pipe bender today. As you can see, uh, the pipe is on here. And this is my first time ever bending my own header. Usually I just use uh, black pipe, you know, just cheat. And I'll go and, you know, get a shitload of these elbows like I have here. And uh, just screw them all together and, you know, call it good. But this time, decided to go the little bit more legitimate route. So I went to Home Depot real quick and picked up a 10-foot piece of black iron pipe not the galvanized stuff uh, I would use this stuff up here uh, I think that black one's closer or maybe the one there on the right I would use that stuff which is pretty much conduit I don't have any more pieces but as you can see it kinks it even this is with an upsized die this is with the down the correct size die and uh, it just kinks it and doesn't work really well. So I shelled out the 14 bucks and got a 10 foot piece and cut it. And uh, I got a pipe bender from Harbor Freight with the last friends and family deer or whatever. And it was like 102 bucks shipped to me. And it should be a lot of use for my, you know, bending up headers and stuff like that. I'm not sure how much use it's going to get, but I paid 100 bucks for it. It's like $120 or something like that for the cheapest one on eBay. And they're like 130 regular. So I got a pretty good deal on it. But uh, I'm going to fire this thing up here real quick and let you guys hear it. And it sounds really, really nice. And there's the uh, air filter and stuff. I don't remember if I showed that. But uh, let's get this started. I'm not going to rev it because I don't have it up right now, but uh, once I finalize it, I'll put it up. I might bend it a little bit more, I'm not sure, because it is hitting the frame up here. I didn't really calculate that in, so I might put a, you know, another bend here and get it down and snake it out below this grab bar here. Um, I'm not really sure yet, uh, or I could just bend it more you know, right in here because I did main bend here and then I bend it a little bit more right here, so I could... Just bend it there and get it down a little bit more and try to get it in this little pit right here. And uh, hopefully that'll work better. And I got to figure out a way how to make some sort of guard on here because your leg does kind of get a little close to this part right here. And uh, this... Good demonstration, Doug. Whoop. 
my camera flipped over the right way. There we go. It's hot. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I don't want my leg to be hitting that. And part of the reason why I decided to make my own exhaust on this is because the muffler is right here and you felt it on your leg after riding for just a little bit. So I got to make some sort of guard here. I'll probably just get some strips of steel or whatever and try to bend it somehow or get some upsized pipe maybe like I have up top there and try to bend it into a guard and then cut it in half or something like that. I don't know. But uh, I mean, for the first time bending it up, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not perfect, but I only cut off about mm, maybe three feet. So that gives me another seven foot roughly to play with to uh, make another one. And making the flange wasn't that hard. That's just a quarter inch thick, one and a quarter inch uh, flat stock, which I can get pretty cheap. So here's the uh, old one. And here's the intake. So right there is probably like 7,000 horsepower taken off just with these things because of the EPA. But um, let's get a little close up over here on this. And this is just a cheap shit adapter off of eBay for like 30 bucks. Um, throttle works fine. I put a, well, it's the same spring, but I stretched it out and it's a lot stronger now, but that's kind of good. And um, right now I'm just waiting on a uh, adjustable jet for this so that I can tune it right because right now it needs to be choked in order to run. I don't like that. And uh, PCVs, the one right here for the valve covers right there. And then this is the gas tank one. And I might do something with that later at some point, you know, make them connect or whatever, but I'm not too worried about it right now. So uh, keep an eye out. I'll put another video out on this soon, hopefully. Uh, we'll be taking an upstate this weekend, so hopefully it's done before then. Might do a video before then, might do a video when I'm up there. Uh, who knows? So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will uh, talk to everybody later.